Hey guys, this is very, very exciting. Um, I'm Carla the Bubble Lush, and this is my first pregnancy vlog. It is pregnancy week four. Um, today is December 28th, and I am four weeks, three days pregnant. It's so exciting. <laughs> I think that's like the first time I said that out loud. I'm pregnant. Um, yes. So, um, I've got a lot of stuff to talk about, and I'm going to try to not make this a two-parter. So I have a big list of things that I want to mention. Um, so if you see me looking over to the side and not having that great of eye contact, it's because I'm trying to get through this and uh, not chit-chat like I'm doing right now too much. Okay, <laughs> so um, although I'm four weeks and three days, this is technically the fifth week. Because the first four weeks were, you know, the two weeks leading up to ovulation, and then the two week wait, and this is the fifth week. It's confusing. <laughs> it's confusing. So, um, this week is a super, super important week. Uh, we've got a heart that's starting to beat, we've got an umbilical cord that's forming, blood is pumping, um, organs are starting to appear, including lungs and a brain, which is crazy. <laughs> um, and there's even little arm and leg buds that are developing. So it's very important. And um, this week and next week are probably one of the most important times because it's when the neural tube is forming. Um, so you have to make sure to take your prenatal vitamin, uh, a lot of folic acid, because that'll decrease the likelihood of a neural tube defect. So that's why your doctor suggests that you take a um, prenatal vitamin when you're trying to conceive so that the levels of folic acid increase in your system enough that um, all this stuff that's going on when we I'm, when I'm like three seconds pregnant um, and all this cool stuff has already happened so that's why they want you to take a vitamin when you're trying to conceive exciting okay so um, as far as symptoms go I have uh, no breast tenderness no nausea no cravings um, no increased urination, but I am drinking a lot of water, so I'm just kind of attributing it to that. Um, I am slightly tired. Uh, I had acupuncture today, and I was passed out. So, in fact, she woke me up too soon. <laughs> so, um, I am kind of tired. And the interesting one is, um, and this sounds weird, but uh, I feel like uterine activity. So when I'm just kind of quiet and just like standing there or laying down or like really kind of like getting in touch with my body that sounds really hippie but you know what I mean um, I just feel like activity like kind of stretching really really like cramps nothing compared to like period cramps or anything like that but um, I read in a bunch of books and it says that as soon as implantation occurs your uterus is starting to grow already so I guess that's what it is. It's not really pain coming from like my ovaries or anything like that. It's my uterus, which is strange. So it's kind of uh, scary as well because it's a sensitive time. <laughs> but um, that's really it. Um, I'm kind of surprised that I don't have any uh, breast tenderness because that seems to be like one of the major symptoms. But they're fine. <laughs> they're fine. Um, so today was exciting. I had my first round of blood tests to confirm pregnancy. So I went into the clinic and I had three vials drawn. Um, one was for beta HCG. So that doesn't just, it's not just seeing if yes or no is HCG in your blood. It's like a, it's not qualitative, it's quantitative. So it's gonna count how much, so that's your beta HCG. Um, I also had progesterone and blood type. So she called me back this afternoon, and as far as blood type goes, I'm type O positive. I'm a type O hero. I know that's really lame. I think it's super funny. It's That's what it says on my blood donor card. So I already knew that. Uh, my progesterone they'll have tomorrow. Um, as you guys know, I had my progesterone done on like the equivalent to cycle day 21, or seven days past um, insemination, and it was 14.3. And they just wanted it to be above 10, so that was fine. Um, but then the exciting number is my HCG. Okay, now, four weeks past your last menstrual period, it should be between 5 and 420.
26. And five weeks after, it should be between 18 and 7,340. So I was, since I'm a, a, it doubles every 24, excuse me, every 48 to 72 hours, it doubles. So I wanted to be greater than 400 because I like to be a rock star. Um, so um, it was 869. So that was a really good number. Um, but what's more important is what it is in 40, 48 hours after that. So I'm going in Wednesday at lunch. My coworkers are going to love that. Um, but I'm going in Wednesday at lunch to have the second blood drawn. And um, that'll tell how quickly it's duplicating. So I'm looking for a number probably in the 1700s would be great. Um, if it was the 3400s, I'd freak out because that means I have twins, which I think would be awesome, but likelihood is low. Okay, so um, obviously these numbers vary from uh, person to person, from pregnancy to pregnancy, so they shouldn't be used to like date a pregnancy, but they're just kind of guidelines. Um, anything below five is a negative and anything above 25 is a positive so I'm totally positive which is great it was really nice to hear the nurse say yes you are pregnant I'm already at six minutes this is totally a mid-two-parter and I apologize um, once the HCG level reaches a thousand to two thousand uh, the gestational sac is visible via transvaginal ultrasound so I have a scan that's going to be done at six and a half weeks that's just two weeks. Um, I'm going to try to schedule it for a Monday so I don't have to take any time off work. Um, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you. Um, just so you know, I don't work on Mondays. I work a 4:10 schedule, so um, I just work really long days, Tuesday through Friday. So I have a three-day weekend each weekend. Don't be jealous. Um, but So I'm going to try to schedule a lot of these doctor's appointments for Mondays. So most likely my updates are going to be Monday nights. It's just so you know. Okay, now, I wanted to tell you guys, um, I'm assuming that most of you have seen the video where I announce the pregnancy or where I see the results. And um, I'm totally in shock. And I wanted to tell you kind of why I was in shock. Um, okay, so Wednesday which was the 23rd, and it was 12 days past ovulation. On my lunch break, I went to Target, and um, I bought pregnancy tests, because my thought was, was I was gonna test with the cheapies, you know, and if it was positive, I wanted to be able to tell Chris or and or my parents at Christmas, and I wanted to give them like, you know, a traditional looking nice pregnancy test, not those cheap little things. So, I bought the, um, regular EPT, a three pack, and I bought, I wanted to get a digital, and they didn't have any clear blues. I guess everyone was testing for Christmas, so I got a first response digital. Um, so I was so excited, I came back to work, and I went to the restroom, and uh, TMI, um, it wasn't spotting, but, uh, and I usually don't like check out my cervical mucus, but um, it was a little pink kind of like mauve. Not red, not brown, just kind of like light pink. And um, I'm not a girl to like spot before AF, but I figured that I was starting my period. So I, when I went back to my desk, I, well, first of all, I felt so stupid for buying pregnancy tests, um, but not even an hour before. <laughs> I felt so stupid. And I went back to the test, to my desk, and um, I almost like updated my Facebook status, like I'm out. Um, I, t I just totally thought it was over.